Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. Today, I feel like I'm gonna record like a little bit early because 2024 is coming up and that's Year of the Dragon. I'm looking forward for the Year of the Dragon. I've been putting this off for a while because, because I don't have the whole set of Year of. So I've been trying to see if I can wait until I find all of them, but I don't. And I think I'm missing the rooster and the monkey or something like that. And maybe the horse. But I'm going to do what I have. And uh, if anybody know I can find the rest of them, you let me know. And I'll review the rest of them. And then we can do a comparison. But today, we are doing the very original Year of the Dragon. Davidoff QV selection. Was some people might call it Cuvée selection. So, <clears throat> I got this a while back from one of the, I believe, Shadow Spokes Legion member. They want, they wanted to help me kind of complete this whole thing so that I can do the review. But we don't have, I don't have the complete set. I think I have 9 out of 12. So, I can do only do what I have. Or wait for the next one to be released. I don't know. But I believe that they are going to release Year of the Dragon for real this time. When they released this, it wasn't really called Year of the Dragon. But it was really on the Year of the Dragon. So, a little bit of information on this. They call this a pyramid. It looked more like torpedo than pyramid. So, pyramid day. <laughs> so, the wrapper is uh, similar to Habano. Uh, the binder is uh, Ecuadorian Habano. And the filler is Dominican Republic. And it's 6x52. At the time, it's in a very affordable price of $35. Yep, if you compare this to the Yellow Rabbit, you're like, $35, hell yeah! But you gotta understand that this also was not released in the box. It was released in the paper, you know, thing imaging. So, we're gonna review this today. This is the only one I have, but I better not screw this up. <laughs> if I screw this up, I can't. I don't have another one. It just smells cedary to me. Let's cut and light. This this tip is very rough, you know, whoever did this. Oh. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Dry mushroom spice with leather. Some really, really, really old leather that has been sitting in your mom's closet for six years. Yep, very, very leathery. Wow. Kind of scared now. Wife is not good. Let's light it up. Fleming Dragon! Anyways. Uh, there's hay. There's a lot of smoke. There's woodsiness. Maybe oak. Finish it with the leatherness. What does that taste? Some cream. There's some spiciness to it, but I can't tell what kind of spice that. It's probably closer to. Something that touch that burns immediately. Mm. 
Just think of a pepper that once you touch it, you don't really taste the pepper, but it's spicy. That really tastes like... That woodsiness is it's a different woodsiness, not like the regular. It's a really blurred out woodsiness. Yeah, I don't know how to call this. There might be some milk chocolate at the end. Not very sweet though. It, it feels like some flavor might have died out over the years. Ooh, if I took a small draw, there's more. There's hay. There's a little bit of earth. Raw espresso. What I mean by that is like it's espresso that's not correctly done. <laughs> it's like it's almost to the second crack uh, into the second like the dark stage after the second crack but it's not there it's like somehow there was a lot of steam because it wasn't charred correctly or should i call that like silver skin kind of taste all right i had to smoke wow it burns really quick i had to smoke one third and i'll come right back Oof. Yeah, let me think a little bit. I can't mess this up. Can't mess this up. All right. I was going to take a while to think about this before I talk about this. But I'm afraid that I'm not going to be able to show this because it's wicked different. Ready? I'm smoking this cigar. I'm just looking at the cigar. I was like, oh, I wonder how it looks like. The ash is powder white. You see that? Powder white, not Walter White, powder white. Look at that. What is this? Snowing like concrete or something? Holy shit. Powder white. I thought that's like kind of amazing. Uh, like I usually I don't feel ash is this powdery. It's always flaky, but powder. What happened? Powder? You see that? Powder! Damn. All right. Going back to smoke. See you guys a little bit. Jeez. Wow. One third. Powdery white ash. Like, I know when I put it down, it's going to fall off. Because I put down cigar hard for some reason. But that's one third. Balance. Woodsy, elegant, small output is great. It's got a little bit of this um, uh, floral woodsiness to it that is really pleasant. Really, really pleasant. It's got a little bit of leatheriness to it too. It's got a little bit bonyar, but it's like not the bonyar you're thinking about. Like the barnyard without any horse, without any cows, just flower in the barn. Before any horse move in with some horse shit. That. Nice, nice, really, really comfortable flavor. Wow. Wow. I'm so glad I waited this long to smoke this. Because it's just good. Because if I smoked it earlier, like every day, like when is the Evil Dragon gonna come out? Now there's gonna be another one. Maybe they'll go close to that. But 702 tobacco is pretty much gone. So I don't know where, like, I don't know where they gotta do that. But it's got that sweetness. It's almost got like um. A very sweet, almost creamy. Well, actually more. No, no. A very sweet, almost chocolate, milk chocolate. Almost chocolate, milk chocolate. It's creamy. It's sweet. It's, it's good. Like the powder white 
ash that it's got. Like I can, I'm very impressed by this ash. Usually I just dust the ash off. But I'm just staring at this ash. On the camera, it might not look that powdery, but it really is powdery. It really is powdery. You see this? Like if I go, you just be powders. I'm impressed. Holy shit. But I, I, I don't think anybody want to keep a cigar for 12 years before they smoke it. So. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to go back and smoke this another third. And we'll look at the very boring band where I talk about very interesting taste. Oh, wow. I'm going to be very slow on this. I think the ash is going to fall, but I'm going to keep it as long as I can. Be right back. Look at this ash. Oh my God. Look at that ash. It's so white. Do, 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 do. No, never can. All right, so. Uh, <clears throat> second third, amazing. Sweet cedar, creaminess. Ah, so good. It's so good. I'm puffing it slowly. I'm smoking it. And this thing, it, ooh. I'm, you can enjoy looking at the ash and you can enjoy small puffs. Like the small puff on this thing, ooh, so good. You taste it, you taste it. Every little puff is all creaminess. It's all sweet cedar, every puff. Oh, so good. Second there. 10 out of 10. So good. I don't know how to describe it other than that. It's a really creamy, sweet cedar. And believe it or not, it goes really well with root beer. I'm not even kidding. So good right now. That this combo, I'm just... I forgot I was reviewing and I always keep smoking. I was like, oh, if I don't cut the second part, I'm not going to have it. It's that good. Wow. So, yeah, I'm going to smoke the last third. It's hot right now on my fingers, like really, really hot because all the smoke is still going out. I don't know if I can see it. Smoke still going out. That smoke is burning my hands. But I got to be very careful. So I'm letting it burn in my hands. Totally fine. But it's so good. We gotta leave all the band and everything at the end because I'm gonna keep admire this beautiful ash. Because who doesn't like to look at ash, right? Anyways, I'll be right back. We are finally done. Yes, the ash fell off, but the whole ash is like powdery, nice ash. Holy shit. I don't read. Ooh. I don't really keep ashes, but it's amazing. Now. If this is the reason why 702 got famous, I can see why. If this is the reason why they decided to make Zodiac series, I can see why. It's $35, I'll pay $60 for it. Now, if anybody wanna sell theirs for $60, let me know. Because this is good. Last third. Still creamy. It turned a little bit bitter. So that flavor actually kind of tastes like, like an espresso, but still creamy. It's more milk than a, it's more like a latte, but like, I don't know, like a cappuccino. Still had the bitterness, but creaminess. And you don't have to smoke this really fast because the smoke I'll put on this is scary. Look. The smoke I'll put on this is a small pop. So much smoke, so much flavor. This thing for $35 is a steal. If the next year of the dragon tastes like this, I'm buying three, four boxes. I don't care. Because this thing tastes good. I highly recommend it if you can find this. Highly recommend it if you can find it. And this ash is by far the most impressive ash look that I have seen recently. Because I really... I see white ashes, I see gray ashes, I see yellow ashes, powder ash, I rarely see. This might not show on the camera, but it's powder. 
in front of my eyes. I'm looking at powder. I'm looking like concrete, you know, like, you know, shave the concrete down. That's how it looks like. It's amazing to me. I like it. Highly recommend it. If you have it, don't smoke it. Sell it to me. <laughs> Anyways. So uh, the band, obviously, this is before they um, did the year of. So it's just regular white Davidoff band with the white QV selection or QV 2012. So nothing crazy to talk about on this one. But if you saw this and you walk by it, you missed out, sir. Sorry for you. You missed out because it's amazing. It's amazing i can't pick on it at all it's about a, a a mile to medium closer to the medium especially the last closer to oh don't fuck down closer to the medium is tasty it's creamy it's cedary is sweet is oh my god it's a good cigar it's a good cigar i was listening to music smoking drinking some root beer and that was a very relaxing one hour that I probably needed more than I thought I needed because it was so relaxing, so good. I'm very happy to smoke the cigar. I'm like, I felt like I actually captured a little dragon. I'm that happy, <laughs> okay? So anyways, that's it for this particular review. If you smoked this one before, definitely comment and like and share and, and subscribe to the channel because we have more of this year of coming up. I will see you guys next one. Bye guys.